We have a couple of easy blocks today. You ready? Hey everyone, Kristen Solemn here, and we are continuing with our Merry Christmas Y'all Bench Pillow. So today we have super easy. We have two blocks and they're almost identical, so we'll do them together. I am going to merge them together in software. I will show you how to do that. You can do them separately. Either way works fine. Um, these are the half square triangle blocks. So one thing is that um, we're we're going to do the quilting and it's we're going to jump around a little bit because we are going to start the quilting um, by getting the placement for our batting and all of that but then we are going to do the quilting after we piece the block so you'll see how I'm going to do that it's actually extremely easy we just have to pay attention a little bit so let's just go over the the items needed real quick so we just have two pieces, actually two different um, variations of fabrics. There are three pieces each. Yep, three each of the white with the white dots on it and three pieces of the black with white stripes. And both of these are five by three. So five by three on both of these. I did back mine with fusible stabilizer. That's completely optional. Um, I like to use the clover folding pen that a friend of mine sent me. Um, you can iron it after each one. I, either way, I'm going to show you the steps, um, each, each part of the steps, don't worry. So for now, six pieces, three of the black and white stripes and three of the white on white dots and um, five by three for these. All right, and then for the other one, this is for height, the half square triangle one. For half square triangle two, it's the exact same thing, okay? So three and three, same thing. Three of the black and white stripes. Don't forget to notice that this is a directional fabric, all right? It's going to matter um, on your finished look. You get to decide what that finished look is and how you want it to be, but that you can see that the stripes are going this way for um, for now. When we put them down, it'll look different, and I'll show you all of that in steps. But anyway, so three pieces each, five by three. This is for the high square, half square triangle two. So for, our, for both of these, we're going to have a piece of batting that is three by seven, three by seven for our batting. And this part is the only part that's different. So on um, the HST one, we are going to use plant seven in two by six vertical. Plant seven, two by six vertical. And for the HST two, we are going to use Western one in two by six, Western one in two by six. So um, that's the only difference. They are, they have different quilting designs. Other than that, the process is going to be the same and I'm going to group them. It'll make it really simple. Um, so, and like I said, we're going to change the order of the steps. So we'll show you how to do that in software. So anyway, very easy today. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey everyone, I'm at my computer now. Um, I'm going to show you how to merge two of the quilting designs and two of the um, half square triangle designs together in one hooping. It's going to be, um, it'll be a good workout, a good little stretch workout on this, on figuring it out. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm using a brilliance. It's and Brilliance Essentials, and I can speak, <laughs> and Brilliance Essentials, and I'm using my 8x8 hoop. You can see down here at the bottom, it'll, it'll tell you what hoop you're using, and I'm going to use my 8x8 hoop. It This can be done in a 6x10 hoop, but an 8x8 gives me a little bit more room. Um, a 10x10 10 10 hoop would give you even more room, but uh, we'll see how much room I need. So, I'm going to start by bringing in a quilting design and it actually doesn't matter what quilting design uh, but you want a two by six design so I'm going to start with the first one that we will use which is plant seven in two by six vertical I'm going to go ahead and bring that in all right so merge stitch file this button right here all right plant seven we're looking for the two by six two by six plant seven vertical double click on that and it goes to the center I'm going to leave this in the center for a moment here and I'm going to bring in the first half square triangle design um, so I'm going to go to merge stitch file 
and find where you have it on your computer. Mine is right there. All right, now notice there are two. It's very important to notice that there is a half square one and a half square two. They are different. You can see the direction of them is different. And so we want to make sure to use both of these. So I'm going to click on the first one, double click on it, and it goes to the center. All right, now I have my quilting design and my half square design centered together. If I were to highlight both of them, I can see from the little black squares that this design, that both of them are centered together. So since I've highlighted both of them, I've selected both of them, that means I can move it without um, losing it. So notice if I if I just clicked on one part of it and, and thought, oh, I'm gonna just move this out of the way. Well, now I've messed it up. It's not centered anymore. So that's why I selected both. So I'm gonna click this undo button. That was just so that I could show you. All right, so if I highlight both of them, you can see that they are centered again. And then when I've got both of them highlighted or selected, then that means that I can go ahead and move them and it's, they're gonna to stay together. All right, now when you move these, it's really important that um, you have it not so far over that it is going to um, be over the hoop. And there's all these extra lines that go out further so it would be very easy to put this like here and think, oh, I'm fine. Well, you're not. You're on the hoop. And so once you brought it to your machine, the machine would say, nope, I can't do it. You did something wrong. I'm mad at you. <laughs> All right. So just make sure that you can always see those black squares. That makes it the easiest. If you can see the black squares, then you know that you're not on top of your hoop or over your hoop. Okay. So that's the first one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring in the second one, which is the um, second quilting design is Western one in two by six. All right, Western one, and you're looking for the two by six quilting design right there. Two by six Western one, double click on that, and it goes to the center. I'm going to go ahead and keep it in the center for now so that I can bring in that HST two. All right, so if, because this is already centered, so I'm going to go to Merge Stitch File, and I'm going to look for the, the um, half square triangle design. All right, we used this one, the half square one. Now we're going to do the half square two. So double click on that. It goes to the center. You can see it looks very, very messy, but it's okay. We now know that they're both centered. So if I highlight number three and number four, Western one and half square two, you can see from the black squares that this these are um, centered. So I have both of them selected, so I'm going to go ahead and move it over to the right here. You can use the um, arrow buttons on your keyboard, or you can use your mouse, whatever you feel most comfortable with. Okay. Okay, so now we have all four designs. So we have the quilting design and the um, the half square design, the quilting design and the half square. I want my quilting designs to um, go at the same time. So actually I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna highlight all four of these, all right? So you saw I just dragged up and I have all four. I'm gonna hit Control C to copy and I'm gonna to go to File New Page and I'm gonna hit Control V to paste and then I have all four of those in um, a different tab, okay? So the reason, I'm gonna do this a little bit differently, but um, it'll work out. All right, so on tab one and tab two, I have all four designs. So on tab one is the one I'm gonna work on right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this half square design that I um, brought in and I'm gonna delete it. I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard and same with the second half square. I'm going to just delete it so that right now all I have is the quilting designs. All right. Now, the interesting thing with this is that I'm going to only use part of these. So if you look at the quilting designs, we've talked about this before. There's five steps. So the placement and the tack down of the batting is one and two, and we want those. We definitely want to use those. 
Um, step three and step four are the placement and tack down of the main fabric. We actually don't need that because we're going to jump right into a piecing template. So I'm going to go ahead and click on number three and click delete. This is one three and then also one three again. This, this is that uh, tack down of the main fabric. We don't need that either. So I'm going to go ahead and click delete on that. So I have the placement and the tack down of the batting and then I have the quilting design. I'm going to do that same thing on this number two quilting design over here. I have the number one and number two. Those are perfect because those are the placement and the tack down of the batting. And then for number three, I don't need that. I'm going to click delete and then number three again, delete. Okay, and then I have the placement and the tack down of the batting and the quilting design. So those are perfect. So you know what's interesting is we don't actually need those quilting designs until the very, very end. And they're just going to get in the way right now. So I'm actually going to do something a little bit different. And I am going to, I'm going to do another copy and paste. Uh, this will be easier for sure. Okay, so yeah, this will be, um, I'm thinking this through in my head going, oh, this is pretty, pretty cool. All right, I'm going to highlight both of these and I'm going to say control C and I'm going to open another new tab, file new page, and I'm going to hit control V and paste those two in there. All right, now um, let me show you what I'm going to do here. This is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to keep you on your toes today. <laughs> All right, so for number, we're an untitled one. So this first one, and we already deleted steps three and four, but actually I'm going to delete the quilting designs right now too because that's just going to get in our way. So this one three here, I'm going to click delete, and then of number two, two three, I'm also going to click delete. So all we have right now are the placement and the um, tack down of the batting. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and we actually don't need to change the colors because we're going to change all of the colors on the, on the um, half square triangle so that we won't have any default blue and orange. We'll just have them here. I'm going to leave those and let them join the way that they are. That, that should work fine. All right, so we have the, um, the first part done. The, the one and two are, are done at this point. So I'm going to go to my second tab here, this second tab, and I am going to click the um, half square. So this number two and this number four, if I hit control, I should be able to get number four. <coughs> excuse me so you can see I have number two and number four highlighted that would be all those steps of number two and number four and I'm going to hit control C to copy and I'm going to go over to tab one and I'm going to hit control V so it should put it right on top of our um, batting and um, placement and tack down of our batting so this should work out just right let's see control V perfect and we have both of the parts. So we have all of step three and we have all of step four. Okay, this is good. Very good. All right, we're good so far. We have one more step we have to remember at the end because we still need our quilting design on top after we've done all of the piecing. So on the piecing though, we can see we have a lot of default blues and oranges and, and other colors we don't want any we want to change all of those so that they don't join um, with each other we you'll you'll see we're going to go through each of these there's 12 steps so we're just going to give all 12 of these new colors and then we're going to copy those colors on number four all right so let's go ahead and get started so we are on three one click on that it's black licorice <clears throat> we could keep one black licorice but there are two so, <coughs> excuse me, rather than cause confusion, let's go ahead and change them. All right, my um, window here is gone. <coughs> <coughs> so 
sorry. Um, so I'm going to go to view and go to toolbars. And if your window ever goes away, this is how you get it back. This properties window, you can see it's not clicked. So we just click on that and there it is. Perfect. Okay. So on default 16 black licorice, three, one, we click on the color and the first color that comes up for me is brunette. So I'm going to go ahead and click on brunette and say, okay. All right. And then we're to the blues and the oranges. Oh, and some are default seven and some are default one. So we're just going to change all of them. That'll make it easier. Default one blue, click on the color. The first color that comes up for me is sea green. It doesn't matter what color, like we've talked about before, as long as it's the same color as the one that you want to join, which we will do in four. We're on number three right now. So for sea green, I'm going to say okay. And then for default seven orange, this is on three, three, I'm going to click on the color. And the first color that comes up is blaze. Say, okay. All right. And then three, four is default one blue. Click on the color and we already used sea green. So now we're going to use mint well and say, okay. And then we're on number three, five and the color we already used blaze, so now we're going to use Oreo. All right, and then for 3-6, click on the color. We've already used sea green and mint, so now we're going to use magic mint and say OK. And then for 3-7, click on the color. We already used blaze and Oreo, so now we're going to use coral. And then for 3-8, click on the color. And we've already used Magic Mint, so now we're going to use Cloud. All right, and I'm just scroll down a bit. And for 3, 9, click on the color. And we used Coral, so now we're going to use Lava. All right, and then for 3, 10, click on the color. And we already used Cloud. Um, let's see. Yep, so now we're on Azure. And then for 311, click on the color. And our last one was Lava, so now we're on Strawberry Blonde. My son is Strawberry Blonde. All right, and then for 312, click on the color. And I'm going to use Dark Brown because we already used Brunette, so now the next one is Dark Brown and say OK. All right, so that one's done. That's all number three. And now we want number four to match that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this little plus sign. It'll open up number four. And we can use the scroll button on our mouse to go back and forth to see what we used before. All right, so we are on this first one. It's already got brunette for us. That's kind of funny. All right, perfect. So then for three, two, we used sea green. So four, two. Oh, these are different orientations. So I don't know if it's going to join. That will be very interesting. My guess is it's not going to. Let's keep going. All right, um, so sea green is what we're looking for. So I'm going to scroll up, and there's sea green. All right, and the number, let's see, what color were we on before? We did sea green, so now we're on blaze. Three, three was blaze, so four, three, we want to be blaze. And then four, four, we used mint, so I'm gonna use mint on four, four. And right there, let's say okay. All right, and then for orange, number four, five, let's see, three, five, we used Oriole. There we go, For that's for four, five. For four, six, three, six, we used Magic Mint. Click on the color, scroll up, and there's Magic Mint, say so, okay. All right, and then four, seven, Three, seven, we use coral right there. 
And then for 4, 8, we used cloud on 3, 8. Scroll up. There's cloud. Say OK. It's going to be really interesting to see if these will join. They're, they're different orientations, so it might not, which would mean there'd really be no benefit in doing them together. I'm not sure. We'll see. All right, so 4, 9. 3, 9 is lava. There's lava. All right, and then so for 4, 10, 3, 10, we used azure. There's azure. And for 4, 11, 3, 11, we use strawberry blonde. Right there. And then the last one's brunette. We want to make sure to change that to dark brown. Otherwise, it will join with that first step and it will defeat the purpose. Okay, so three and four are all done. And then the last thing is that we would bring in the quilting design. I'm going to go ahead and see if we can join these now. I'm not certain that it's going to. It, it should at least join... Um, the batting uh, placement and tack down for the two quilting designs. That might be all it's going to do though. So there's 28 color stops here. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Utility color sort. And it did. It only reduced by two color changes. So we click new view. All right. So that's that's going to be interesting. So there's the, our placement of our batting and our tack down of our batting is joined on both of those. And then it jumps right into each individual one. And that's fine, but it would have been um, more time savings if we could have had it do both of them at the same time. But since, see, they're different. They're different directions. So it didn't join them. That's really interesting. All right, so since it only reduced it by two, there's something else that we can do to help it along to do what we want. You can absolutely do each one separate, like how it is having you do right now. That's fine. Or if you want to do these two together and save on a little bit of time, um, then we can move the parts around. So everything right now is in one step. So you can see all of them here. Everything is one step. So if we were to move them, so like join each of the colors, right? So this brunette, it would just make it so that we could, let's see here. So if we brought brunette up to brunette, I'm going to go ahead and close this window so that we have more room. So there's the first brunette and then the last dark brown and the brunette. So, so see we have the colors for each of them on the two separate designs. We could easily, if we click on the color or click on the picture of it and bring it up, we could have it go. This one didn't go all the way up. One more. There we go. So see what I'm doing? So I have brunette and brunette. And then we do the same with the sea green. So the next one was sea green. So if we just look at where we have, we know it ended on that brown. That would be an easy way to, let's see here. Dark brown right there. So 115 is the ending. So sea green right here. If I click on the picture and bring it up to this other sea green. Okay, so then we have 15 and 16 are both the sea green. And then after 15, right here, right here, blaze. So blaze and blaze. I'm going to click on the picture and bring it up. One more up. Oh, another way is you can say have move earlier. I think it goes up one. Yep, <laughs> that was easy. Okay, so blaze, blaze. I'm just going to bring these all into the same um, order mint and then up with mint and the next one is oriole right here bring it up with oriole and then we have magic mint bring it up and then coral basically we're doing our own color sort 
going to right click on it, move earlier, that brings it up. And then we have cloud. And then lava. Right click, move earlier. All right, and then for azure. And then strawberry blonde. Oh wait, it's already there. Strawberry blonde, strawberry blonde, dark brown, dark brown. All right, so that's one way to do our own little, no, I want to do this and this and this, because think about we're going to be using the same fabrics, the same design. They're just kind of opposite. But it, for me, it's a way to be able to get them both done at the same time. I think that that will work. All right, so these, um, I think it still won't color sort, but because they're different. See how the designs are different. Some of them aren't, which is kind of funny. Okay, so that's all good. But don't forget, we don't have our, our quilting design. So if I close this, and I go to that one that had this. So I'm on Untitled 3 now. And this is, if I open it, it's got the placement and the tack down of the batting. But all I want now is the quilting design. So I'm going to go ahead and click on just the quilting design. I'm going to use that control button. And I have the first one, which is 1, 3, and then the second one, which is 2, 3. And I'm going to say control C. And I'm going to go back to untitled 7. Mine's 7 now because I've made some changes to the tabs, but yours will be... Um, correctly numbered and then say control V so we're on that one that has all the everything's in one step because we did that color sort and then we moved them around so control V and then it brings up the quilting design uh, for uh, both of them and see how it's it keeps them centered and everything so that was just super easy and so really we still have our 28 color steps we still have lots of color steps um, but they're going to run in a way that you're going to be able to work on both at the same time. And since the colors are the same, my guess is it's not going to stop. It's going to just keep on going. So I, I think this is actually perfect. This is really what I wanted to happen. So the, the most important thing is to make sure that your quilting design is at the end. You've got your quilting and your quilting after we've done all of the piecing. And then we have the uh, batting at, in the beginning, the placement and the tack down of the batting. And then all of those piecings. And I've merged mine together. That's totally optional. You can do both of these completely separate or you can have a little fun with them brilliance and uh, make it work for you. All right, so let's go ahead and get started stitching out our half square triangle blocks.
So did you pick a goal? My goal, like I said yesterday, is to get healthy and stay healthy um, throughout the holidays so I can enjoy it with family and friends. And I am feeling better. Hubby has it too. So we're um, muddling through this, but I'm definitely getting better. Here come the dogs. Anyway, um, so doing well, um, drinking lots of uh, vitamin water, electrolytes, and getting lots of sleep and loving on my dogs. So my shirt today is I'll Be Known for Christmas. I don't remember. I think it's Designs by Juju. I'm pretty sure. But I will look it up and um, add information under this video um, with a link to where you can get the design. 